from basically zero to two million views in 10 weeks. That's insane. Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today we have something very special that might be very interesting for each one of you who is interested in also building a YouTube channel for themselves. Because as you've maybe figured out by now, I'm a huge nerd in looking at statistics, analyzing stuff and really understanding what other people did that have grown before me. Then try and apply that to my own channel and teach it to you so that you can apply it to yours as well. So today we're gonna look at a channel that has really impressed me by this handsome young man here, Mr. Elliot Choi that I found out about like one and a half month ago. And take this in, he was at 100 subscribers in the beginning of November. And now, 24th of January, he's at 54,000 subscribers. That's insane, super insane. And today we're gonna look at what he did to grow his channel and see and find out if he actually was systematic about it and what he did and if we can apply that to ourselves as well. So let's jump over the computer and look at that. So don't be surprised if this video is gonna take a little bit longer. I'm gonna share quite a lot of super interesting insights that could be valuable for you to grow your channel. And I'm also suggesting a free tool that I'm using to get more views on my videos. Let's get started. And the first thing in trying to explain something like this for me would be like, okay, he probably just uploaded a whole bunch of videos in that time. In fact, he didn't. The moment that I found about his channel when he had about 25,000 subscribers, he had five videos uploaded, five. But he was very, very smart about which kind of videos he uploaded. And so let's quickly take a look at his social blade statistics. So if you look at the last 30 days, you see that his channel is growing between 200 and 900 subscribers per day. On average, about 500 per day. That is massive. By now he has 13 videos on his channel and doubled to nearly 54,000 subscribers. Look at that, so insane. And a few days ago he uploaded a video in which he's trying to explain his growth. Let's look at that together and then analyze that. What's up guys, it's Elliot here. So today we're talking about how my channel went from 100 subscribers to over 50,000 in less than two months. Almost exactly a year ago in January, I actually started uploading videos to this channel about flipping and reselling. Honestly, I thought it'd get me views. I posted seven videos over the course of one week and then I quit. I didn't get over 100 views on any of those videos and I got discouraged, so I stopped making videos. And that is super interesting because when I found out about him, I sent him a DM on Instagram and reached out to him and he explained to me that although you only see those videos that he has on this channel right now, those were not the first ones that he had. He tried two or three different approaches before he found the one that actually worked. For us to learn in this is that don't get discouraged if the first direction that you're trying with your channel doesn't work, just try something new and then see if it goes in that direction. So for example on my channel you'll find some travel videos from about a year ago. I realized that those didn't really work for me so I wanted to do something different. Fast forward to September and I started posting on the channel again with videos related to Amazon FBA. This time I only posted five videos on the subject and I didn't see the growth I wanted so I quit again. Now the main reason I kept quitting was I lacked the motivation to keep making videos. I made a very common mistake when it comes to YouTube which is making videos that you're not really passionate about. And that is very very true. I found the same for myself. YouTube takes a lot of time, patience and dedication. So if you're making videos about any topic that doesn't really interest you, it's gonna get really really difficult to sustain that. So the only really choice you have is to find something that you really enjoy talking about. For me it's something like starting a YouTube channel or filmmaking, editing, you might have that two or three other things that you're passionate about. Try each one of those and see if you can make a channel around that. When you create content, you have to do it for yourself, even if you intend on sharing your work with other people. Couldn't agree anymore. Two months ago, I posted my first video, a day in the life at Vanderbilt University. And I made this video because I saw that other college day in the life videos were blowing up with millions of views and there wasn't a super popular one from my school. I also really focused on making a video that I was proud of, one that I was passionate about, and that definitely helped with how the video performed. And that is a very smart thing to do. First, he realized that there was this one kind of video that was really performing very well on YouTube. He then realized realized that for his university, nobody had done a video like this. And then also, if you look at the search terms right here, he really hit the jackpot because the keyword Vanderbilt, so his university, is one that is very highly searched, but has only very few videos that are posted on the subject. He really hit the nail in the head with having a video that is very easy to be found. Those have gotten so much more traction because they have a very searchable term inside the title. It's been two months since I posted that first video, and it now has over 490,000 views, which is absolutely insane. And that is very crazy. If you quickly look at that video, this video is 15 minutes long, so probably it gathered a whole ton of watch time and that is always very very good for YouTube. Let's say people watched this video on average for 50%, that's seven and a half minutes of watch time. You can get a video that is that long and people are staying entertained and they keep watching it. That's one factor that really played into this year. I recently started using this plugin, it's called vidIQ and this gives me all these statistics that make it a lot easier for me to analyze things. Here you see that in the beginning, the first couple of days, this video got to like 5,000 views and that served for YouTube as the signal while people really like to watch this video and then most likely the YouTube algorithm picked it up and started serving it out to way more people. That's by the way if you're new to the channel within the last few days coming from the video with Sadia from Pickup Limes, that's the way you found me because YouTube suggested my video to you and that's exactly what happened to his video here as well and then you can see that it really really popped and took off. 
started to get some traction on the video, I made a commitment to post a new video every few days, and that was probably one of the best decisions I could have made. In that is very true. Consistency really is the key here because just uploading one video, that doesn't really cut it. You need to follow up after that. And especially if people find one big video on your channel, they are very inclined to check out more of your content. And if there is not more of your content, for many, that's not enough to actually subscribe to you. College will actually make Day in the Life videos, and quite a few of them blow up. But what they don't do is follow up with consistent content to leverage the attention that they have from very that first true. video. Some of those videos totally I made true. afterwards ended up doing really well, and honestly, that's a huge part of why I grew so fast. Really agree, because the next video that he made here, why I wake up at 5 a.m. in college, that video has even more views. If you look at that down here, it has 620,000 views, but it was posted like two or three weeks after his first big video. And if you look on the graph here, how the views developed, in the first weeks, it slowly gained views. And then when his channel really got momentum, then that moment came where YouTube really pushed that video out to many, many more viewers. And then it even overtook his other video. 1,500 views per hour, that's crazy. I'm gonna share the two tips that I have for anyone who's starting out and trying to grow on YouTube. First, focus on a specific niche. Or that is very true. So it is very important that you each of the content that you create, you need to look at your videos individually and make sure that they can be found in YouTube, especially if you have a small channel, then there are not a lot of viewers that you have that could push out your content. So you need to really be found in YouTube search. And focusing on something like a term is in his case, that explains how his first video got to be so big. Because if you look at the analysis here for his main keywords, Vanderbilt University and Vanderbilt, he's appearing very top in the search results. And that's by the way, what I with my videos have lately focused very much on. The vidIQ plugin, by the way, is linked down below in the description. It's free to try. Of course, they have a paid version. I have a paid version and the link below is an affiliate link, just so you know. But I personally highly recommend it and I decided paying for it. Another big tip in the beginning is to not post vlogs. You want to be making videos that really add value. And it's really gonna be hard for you to stand out with a vlog because so many people can make vlogs and so many people actually do post their vlogs on YouTube. And that is true to an extent. What I would completely agree is that you should not make pointless vlogs. Think about the vlog that I did when we filmed how we were producing the video for Epidemic Sound. That took off simply because it had a very searchable title and then it now also has appeared in suggested videos. So you can make it happen with vlogs, but in that case, you really need to focus on putting valuable information inside that vlog or making it very, very searchable. Second tip is to focus on watch time, which is the number one variable that YouTube looks for so before true. pushing out your content to millions of people. And that is completely what he achieved with the other 15 minute video. Or watch time is the number one variable that YouTube considers before recommending your content to other people. You're so, so make sure right. that you're making it a priority. And this, by the way, he achieved very well by also having a great editing style. By the way, if you haven't already, check the link down below. I link his video there. He has this section where he's doing all these. So here are all the Sam Calder style hyperlapses. Very well made. They look very, very professional. And that of course keeps people watching that video longer and more and here he's really standing out. There are people who edit videos like this, but there probably aren't college students who edit video like this. And that of course is also a big driver. So if you wanna get more views and more traction on your YouTube channel, get better at video editing. And if you go underneath and look at any of his videos, what really impressed me here is the level of engagement Elliot puts into building his community because that's really what set him apart. If you look under his video, he's replying to each and every of the single comments. He's putting the number one priority and really building a connection with each and every one of the people that are reaching out to him. And that is mainly that I take for myself. So whenever you leave a comment under any of my videos, I will reply to it. If you send me a DM, I'm gonna reply to it. Because for me, sometimes I only see the camera. I don't see you. So by getting to see who's reaching out to me, that is super interesting for me and get to know you a little bit better. So feel free to leave a comment below. People are gonna see that you're engaging with the community, with your audience, and eventually they'll follow you if they see you around enough. Elliot is really impressed, not only by your growth, much more by the systematic approach that you chose and the effort in engaging with each and every single person that's watching your videos and aside from that props for being a really really good editor if you haven't already then click down below in the description to check out Elliot's channel also over here you find another few very interesting analysis videos hope you learned something today until next time